In this lesson, we'll learn about glycosidic bonds in disaccharides. Question 1 reads, Molybiose is a disaccharide that is 30 times sweeter than sucrose, table sugar. For question A, what are the monosaccharide units in molybiose? The word disaccharide means that we have two monomers coming together. And they're asking in question A, what are those two monomers that come together to form this compound? If you take a look below, we'll see the molecule of molybiose. On the left and on the right, you have two monomers that almost look identical. The only difference is that this monomer has the OH at the top of C4, whereas the OH is to the bottom of carbon-4 in this molecule. And that's the only difference between these two monomers. In fact, if the OH is at the top, it's galactose, in our case here, and this monomer is glucose. That's the only thing that differs between the two. And it's this small change in orientation that gives rise to their different properties, surprisingly. So for question A, we have galactose plus glucose. In case you want to identify the stereoisomer for both, galactose is technically D-galactose because the OH group on carbon-4 is above the plane, and more specifically, alpha galactose because this OH is pointing down. The glucose monomer, on the other hand, is alpha glucose since its carbon-4 OH is below the plane, and this OH is pointing down. For question B, what type of glycosidic bond links the monosaccharides? It's important to mention that in disaccharides, there are four different types of glycosidic bonds. There's 1,2-beta, 1,4-beta, 1,4-alpha, and 1,6-alpha. The bond occurs at 1 and 6, so we know that it is a 1,6 glycosidic bond, although we have to determine whether it's alpha or beta. Notice that the anomeric carbon, this one, the one that determines whether a monomer is alpha or beta, the OH is pointing downwards. And when it points downwards, we call it alpha. So remember, when the OH is down, it's alpha, and when it's up, it's beta. Because it's pointing downwards, we say that it's alpha 1,6 glycosidic bond. Finally, in question C, identify the structure as alpha or beta molybiose. For that, we look at this anomeric carbon, the one that's free. If it's pointing downwards, as I mentioned, it's alpha and if it points upwards, it's beta. So in our case here, we're dealing with alpha molybiose, not beta. In question two, solibios is a disaccharide composed of two glucose molecules connected by a beta 1,4 glycosidic bond. Draw the Howarth structure for B solibios. For this, I'll use this molecule because that is glucose, and I'll redraw it. So that's one of my glucose molecules, and I'll double this. Now we have two monomers of D-glucose. Furthermore, we are told that it's a beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage. Remember that this is the anomeric carbon of the first monomer, and that's the anomeric carbon of the second monomer. Let's create this linkage. We have carbon-1 with carbon-4, and it's beta. So this OH will be up here. and it will be forming a bond with that carbon. So I'll create a bond, oxygen, with that. Notice that it's pointing upwards as opposed to pointing downwards. That's an indication that we have a beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. And since they want beta solibios, this OH should be up here as opposed to down there. And there you have it. Two examples discussing glycosidic bonds in disaccharides.